What's up, Strike Team? Welcome back. Uh, still here at the beach having fun with Kanchi Wakata. Uh, so we're going to go into the next move, which is where you go in, you drop down into the horse stance. You're taking the hand here, you're elbowing, and a back fist. Some back might be that back fist, depending on how you learned it, but boom, boom. Okay, so retain that technique. So, uh, during the super traditional version, he might throw a, could be a bat or a chop or whatever. He's going to throw something. Our straight punch. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Boom. Let's throw the elbow into the middle of his uh, into his solar plexus. Come back and back fist the head. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of times when you do that, if you're doing it properly, you should sink down and try to grab the person um, and really sink them into it. But um, we're gonna actually take that and kind of put it into a more uh, pressure testable sense of how that might actually look in, the, in a real in a real situation. So one thing I like about this technique, we already know you're hitting him with an elbow, then you're hitting him with the back fist. One or the other, both together, however you're gonna do it. Um, but if you look at it into the context of the entire kata, okay, because the kata just showed us how to take an angle and throw a punch and take an angle and throw a kick um, on, on different sides of the person's body. But it didn't always show a follow-up in those sections. And now I'm recognizing it does have a follow-up. Okay? So let's start off with that punch. I'm gonna angle this side. Come in. Oh, throw that, throw that. Okay, so for the jab. Okay, it's coming in, you're punching. Say it's really quick, and that jab comes back, I can't catch it, but I throw my punch here. Next he's gonna throw, say that's what's open. Okay, so I block it. And that's what's there as your next shot. It's a follow-up and it's right there. Say so you do that same thing with the kick, kick comes in. Oh, kick yep. oh no, I, I was gonna I was gonna hit you. Oh, I meant the kick section. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So punch comes in, boom, you come in out, you're hitting. Again, this is perfect world situation. Say you don't catch the arm, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, punch comes in, same thing. You're there to come in and try and block that punch and bring that elbow across. Bring that elbow into the solar plexus to finish across into the chin. Again, I'm here in the orthodox stance, so I can say just throw a punch that way. You come in, drive that elbow into him this way if you want, or you can do more of the Muay Thai slicer version. If you like as well, you just kind of slice the elbow across too. So you can drive it, slice it, whichever one you want to do. But again, in this kata, we're going this way, but there's nothing saying you can't, boom, do that same thing the other direction. You may have to drill it, Okay, but say you're going this way, punch, 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 sorry, boom. And then he comes in, throw that other punch. Ah, notice, you wanna be on this side for this. Again, if, if you block it wrong, just separate and restart the fight, nothing always goes your way in a real tech, in a real fight, but for the sake of the drill, cross. yeah, cross, throw the other shot. All right, so for here, move it out the way and elbow there, okay? If it's coming, if you're not able to catch it on the inside, and throw the elbow there. Say you did what I did where you took out the block. I still blocked the punch, but it went across. Move it down, you can still throw that elbow. I, as a follow-up to all the techniques, guy throws across, boom. Okay, oh, I, next punch comes in. Okay, well this time I'm gonna do this part of Kanchi while I'm throwing the punch. Next punch comes, so again, boom. Now I'm here, and I'm able to land that elbow and blast it on the chin and his solar plexus, whatever, and I hit that elbow. Or again, you can just do it from right here and hit it from there, okay? Um, again, in this technique, you also have the back fist, which is just another option instead of elbowing if you're at a farther range, okay? Yeah, uh, okay, you're here, he throws the other shot. Uh, I'm not, say I don't have the balance or, uh, I can still get in for the elbow. Say you don't wanna go in for the elbow, you can go in, Boom, you can hit, say you want to hit the back of the eyes. Well, one thing you can also do is if you elbow to the solar plexus and you back fist, you can also use the back fist to kind of push off into the person's chin or neck, sort of like a long guard, just shove the person off of you. That's one thing I kind of like about it. You're in the clinch area. I often do it with the open hand, but I will often open hand shove somebody off. There's no reason you also couldn't do that with your closed fist. And also, closed, open, who cares? <laughs> You know, it's there, so use it. 
And please remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, I'm gonna be posting a lot more Kata videos. I am very excited to be back doing what got me to start this channel in the first place, which was Kata and practical application. I have many more videos, some that are already filmed. I'm very excited to get back to it. So please hit that notification bell so you are aware when I drop new videos, especially because uh, my most recent couple are all part of you know a line of videos going over the same Kata. So please uh, subscribe, like, Tell me in the comment down below uh, what you guys thought or anything you guys think I could make more clear or uh, maybe go into more detail on the next time. All right, guys. See ya. Peace.